Okay, so let's talk about a little bit about other diets. Okay, um, so senior diets. So senior diets is also not unpopular at all. Um, and uh, certainly you may have heard of it. So in general, senior diets, it certainly goes from breed to breed. But in general, any, any dog above eight years old, usually, usually, not all the time, is all considered geriatric. Okay, certainly for... Uh, that there are variations there whereby for a Great Dane, you know, argue, uh, argument would say that above four, it may be geriatric. Whereas for a pulmonarian, maybe the age is 10 or 8. So, you know, certainly, but ish, about 8 years old. So, senior diet. So, what is different? Why are, why are diets specifically manufactured for older animals different from the usual diets? So just like us, we know that, you know, we, I, I, I don't know about you, but me, I can't eat what I did when I was in my teens or in my 20s. If I did that, I will be growing, but sideways, okay? So the energy requirement is different when you get older. So, um, the, the, the slower calorie, uh, perhaps they're much more, uh, the metabolic rate has slowed down, uh, or they're much more efficient in metabolizing their energy. So the same amount of food, the, the animal may be able to draw out even more energy than before. So it's just either way, they suddenly need lower calorie. Okay, just like us. Yep, we don't eat as though we're growing we're like the teenagers. Higher digestible protein. So the idea behind that is that when they get older, this little dog is just like us as well. You know, it's not dissimilar. They are mammals, we are mammals. Uh, we may not be able to digest, or they may not be able to digest protein as well. So instead of using uh, quite uh, difficult protein to digest, they use much simpler proteins so that it's, it's easier for your dog to get the energy that is needed. And some senior diets they certainly include joint supplements like chondroitin, glucosamine, uh, green lip muscle. Um, sometimes they even add in things like vitamin C, which is very, very good antioxidant, um, just to help because the, real, uh, the ideology behind it is that uh, when they're older, they may get arthritis and hence at a point of time, joint supplements may be beneficial. Um, yeah, so that is not unusual to find uh, that is part of their perk or, or part of their draw for you to get a senior diet because they've added in joint supplements. And certainly the gastrointestinal, that's what GI stands for, GI for gastrointestinal health, uh, may be a little bit more sensitive, hence it needs a bit more care. Uh, adding in beetroot pulp and flaxseed can help in the digestion um, to get the guts moving along because the guts may not be as uh, robust or as mobile as it was when it was a much younger dog. So things to improve the gastrointestinal tract helps. Similarly, just like us. Um, older animals, uh, <laughs> just like us, may also get dementia. So when they get older, you know, the oxygen supply to the brain may not be as good. The amount of on antioxidants, okay, I say again, antioxidants, which is very, very important, may not be as uh, uh, vast as before when it was young and hence uh, the free radicals which is what uh, our cells produce as a byproduct uh, is not gotten rid of as quick and that is a bit that sometimes can enhance uh, senile dementia. So to help with that cognitive health, vitamin E, L-carnitine, they're all very very good sort of uh, antioxidants to help with the senile dementia side of things and certainly in older dogs you know for the special uh, diets for older animals, they may include that as well as part of the um, package of what to feed an older dog. Similarly, the skin and the coat health may not be as robust as what it was when it was a young little puppy. So these are all common uh, supplements and vitamins that they added in, uh, um, minerals that they add into the diet as well to enhance the skin and coat health. Um, the, the argument is that the immune system may weaken over time and hence they add very uh, potent essential fatty acids, the EFAs, omega-3, omega-6. If you walk in the Holland Barats, not right now because of COVID-19, but in general, Holland Barats, you know, there's a big push against omega-3, omega-6, especially uh, sort of acids like DHA. And uh, it's all to help the immune system. 
and also essential fatty acids. They are good for uh, the hair coat, they're good for your kidney, they're good for liver, they're good for senile dementia. They're also pretty good for, you know, something random, cancer as well, because they're all very, very powerful sort of uh, um, supplements that can help the immune system.